elevator isn't working. I expected as much. What do we do? Is there any other way out? Somewhere in one of these rooms should be something fun we can use to escape. Something fun? Colonel, what are you talking about? It wouldn't be as fun if I told you, now would it? Let's search the rooms around here. Okay. I sure hope nobody spots us. take them very far and they aren't even guarding them I imagine they were guarding them originally right now they're probably busy trying to revive the Tartarus let's go Here we are. We'll find our something fun in the back, behind these boxes. So, we just need to move these boxes then? That's right. By the way, Luke, I can't say I think much of you forcing a woman to do the heavy lifting. I'm fine, Colonel. Or do rich aristocratic boys lack any muscles? <sighs> and here I thought even your brain was made of muscle. What did you say? Wait a minute. You're a guy, too. You help out. No, I'd rather not. You're younger than I am, after all. At my age, all my joints ache. Fine, whatever. Out of the way. I'll do it. Thanks. You can do it, Master! I thought I told you to shut up.
Here it is. This is your something fun? Colonel, is that gunpowder? Gunpowder? Why is that here? A group of soldiers aboard the ship had been pilfering supplies to sell on their own. I discovered that they'd been hiding gunpowder here. Though this commotion has made my investigation pointless. I see. So we're going to ignite this and destroy the wall. Are you serious? We'll be fine as long as we're not caught in the explosion. Now let's hurry. Do we light it with the phonic art? No, we light it with Mew. You're on, Mew. Yes, sir! Whoa, wait a... Jeez, you could have waited half a second. Mew! I'm sorry, Master. No, that was perfect, Mew. Now, let us be going. Right. How can those two watch an explosion go off right in their faces? I swear, they're not human.
It looks like we made it in time. There they are. Have they realized the Tartarus did an emergency shutdown? I'd be rather surprised if they haven't. More importantly, we can't use phonic arts. There's no time for casting. It's not like you can use any decent phonic arts anyway with that phone slot seal. How can you say things like that? The Colonel's been working hard to undo the phone slot seal. I don't mind. It's the truth. Open the emergency hatch. Right away. Fire! Now! Jade Curtis, you're a force to be reckoned with, even with your phonic art sealed. That's quite a compliment. I'm honored. Now, throw down your weapon. Tear, your phonic hymn. Tear? Tear grants? Major Legretta. What's happened to the Tartarus? It's still inoperable. I was only able to get this far because my friend tore open the wall. Good work. Restrain them and... Enter the amazing guy. Uh, Arietta. Now, drop your weapons once more and go back inside the Tartarus. You're next. Take your monster inside. Phone master, I... I... Please, do as he says, Arietta. All the hatches should stay closed for a while. Phew, thank goodness. Good timing, guy. I looked all over for you. Never thought you'd turn up in a place like this. By the way, Ion, where's Annis? The enemy stole the Emperor's letter. Annis went to get it back, but a monster knocked her out of a porthole. But I heard soldiers say that they couldn't find the body, so I'm hoping she's all right. Then let's head for St. Bina. That's our rendezvous point with Annis. St. Bina? It's a city to the southeast of here. Okay, we just need to make it there, right? What about your troops? They're still inside the ship, right? I can't imagine there being any survivors. If they left any witnesses, it would lead to war between the Order of Lorelei and Malkuth. How many people were on board? This was a top-secret mission, so only half the usual number. Around 140. Over a hundred people were killed. Let's get going. If we get caught here, the war that follows will claim the lives of many more.
Hey, you okay? Ion, you used Dothic Phonic Arts aboard the Tartarus, didn't you? That thing you did back at the Cheagle's place? I'm sorry. My body just isn't built to use Dothic Phonic Arts. A fair bit of time has passed, so I thought I'd recovered, but... Let's rest for a while. At this rate, we risk shortening Ion's life. So, you're an emissary on a mission to prevent war. But why would Mose want to start a war anyway? I'm afraid that's confidential to the Order. I can't talk about it. Oh, come on. Whatever his reasons, this war must be avoided. We won't let Mose interfere. You've sure gotten yourself wrapped up in a mess here, Luke. By the way, who are you? Oh, right. I haven't introduced myself, have I? I'm Guy. I'm a servant in Duke Fabra's manor. What? <coughs> Guy doesn't like women. I'd say it looks more like a phobia. But sorry, it's nothing personal. It's just... If it helps, you don't have to think of me as a woman. Fine. I'll be sure to keep my distance. Will that take care of it? Sorry. If you serve House Fabra, you must be from Kimlaska. Did you come looking for Luke? Yes, under orders from Duke Fabra. We knew he disappeared into Malkuth territory. I went by land from Chalcedonia, while Dorian General Grants crossed the sea and started searching from Kite Sewer. Master Vans looking for me too? My brother's here? Your brother? You mean... Oh dear. It looks like we've run out of time to chat. Those are people. Luke, stay back. You know you won't be able to kill them. You won't get away! Luke, finish him. Uh. Luke, snap out of it. Here, I... Uh... You idiot.
For Jade and Tyr, fighting is their job, so the things they say can sound a bit extreme. You're a civilian, so I think your hesitation and concern are to be expected. Does it not bother you that your subordinates kill people? Isn't it your job to save people? It can't be helped. Sadly, the Order of Lorelei has stopped being a religion of life. You'll see soon enough. Master, is Tyr all right? <sighs> Tyr... Fine, I'll check on her, okay? Just shut up! Why so serious? Why did you become a soldier, Jade? Are you scared of killing people? <sighs> I think your reaction is really quite natural. The world could probably benefit from having fewer soldiers anyway. I don't know what I should do. Relax. You'll be protected until we arrive at Batical. We'd be in quite a bind if you died on us. Stop making fun of me! But I'm not. There's no shame in running or protecting your own life. Live a safe life inside a safe city and hire guards when you're forced to leave it. That's how normal people live. It must have been tough for you, suddenly thrown out into the world like this. I... I had no idea things were this bad outside of the city. Sometimes you can earn bounties for killing monsters and bandits. Outside the towns, killing people isn't considered a crime, as long as it's not proven to be for personal malice. How many people have you killed? Who knows? Less than that soldier right there, I imagine. Aren't you scared? Of course I'm scared. That's why I fight. Because I don't want to die. I still have things to do. Like what? Revenge. Huh? Just kidding. Are you sure you're all right? Huh? The fighting was hard on you, wasn't it? I knew you were a civilian, but it seems I didn't really understand what that meant. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? You're the one who got hurt. As long as I'm a soldier, it's my duty to protect civilians. Getting injured in the process merely means I wasn't strong enough, that's all. You're weird. To me, it just sounds like you're trying to sound tough. That that's not true. Uh-huh. The fighting was hard on you, wasn't it? I knew you were so I'm sorry. It must have been tough for you, suddenly thrown out into the world like this. Relax. You'll be protected until we arrive at Batical. We'd be in quite a bind if you died on us. For Jade and Tyr, fighting is their job, so the things they say can sound a bit extreme. You're a civilian, so I think your hesitation and concern are to be expected. Are you going to sleep now, Master? Yeah. Good night. Luke, wake up. It's time to get going. 
Are you all right to be moving around? Yes. Thank you for your concern. Tyr, Guy, and I will take up a triangle formation. You'll stay in the center with Ion and defend yourself if necessary. What? In other words, you don't have to fight, Luke. Come on, let's get going. Wait a minute. What is it? I'll fight too. Aren't you afraid of killing? Of course not. You shouldn't force yourself, Luke. I'm serious. I mean, okay, yeah, I'm a little scared, but if I have to fight to survive, then that's what I'll do. I'm not gonna hide in the corner. I'm so proud of you, Master. Would you shut up? Anyway, I've made up my mind. From now on, I fight without hesitation. To kill someone means to rob them of their future, even if it is to protect yourself. And it can earn you the hatred of others. Are you prepared to deal with that? Can you face that responsibility without running away, without making excuses? You said yourself, you aren't killing people because you want to. I've made up my mind. I'm not here just to be a burden. I'm gonna take responsibility too. But... I don't see any problem with that. We'll give Luke a chance to show us his resolve. Just don't push yourself too hard, Luke. <laughs>